21 years old. Last four digits of my social, 2029. I don't know what my VIN number is for my car. You get to pay $36 every year to re-register your car. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. You get a convenience fee, too, for $3. It's a $3 convenience fee. Forget your password. You got to put a new password in, and then you get the red, and they tell you that it's not good enough. What do you think about that? There's too many passwords. How many passwords do you think you have? Over 10? It's a lot of fucking passwords. Last night? Wait, you were here last night. You're not getting the five. See, this is the thing. Last night I did the same opening, right? And I waited till someone booed Kryptonite. And I was going to give the first person for 10 bucks. Tonight I knew someone was going to cheat, so it was five bucks. Who wasn't here last night? You weren't here. You booed over there. Come take your five. Fuck that, man. You're not getting it. Nice job. Three doors down, pieces of shit. All right. They're millionaires. God damn it, there's a lot wrong with this world, but you know what's not wrong? The winter classic, let's hear it. <laughs> Little Timmy, Timmy Showalter, you like him? Yeah, you like him, you like him a lot. He's gonna get up here, he's gonna sing a lot of his songs. You excited? Yeah, yeah. well, I'm in the latest uh, Strand of Oaks band, and I'll say latest, there's been a couple. Uh, but I think it's the best one. We just got off the we, yeah, we just got off of a smoking hot Jason Isbell uh, run, and I gotta tell you, a smoking hot band was sounding good. I'll show you what my part is on Shut In. You guys know the the song Shut In? Okay, so here's my part. This is what I do. Tim's right there. He's usually saying something like, "We're all together." It's kind of weird when you're a side guy, too, because I'll just start looking at somebody. Like, I'll be over here, and I'll just be like, how's it going? Because I'm kind of doing the same thing that you are. Like, and he's like, oh, we're all together. It's amazing. I love you people. Actually, he doesn't love you people. At backstage, he's like, fuck all those people. They're terrible. <laughs> Kidding, of course. No, Tim is actually what he is here. Tim is a beautiful man with a beautiful singing voice, and, uh, and I'm looking forward... And I'm looking forward to hearing him again tonight, even though I just got off the road for two weeks and I'm still here with him. But back to shutting. So I sit there, I stand there for a long time. It's an effective move. It's a great move. Oh my, I don't even know the chords because I, I just do that part. I mean it, right? Not as bad as it seems. You guys can sing and we try. Come on. In all of the way, you get better. And then I do this. Something like that, right? And I nail it. But and then I go back to doing nothing. And I think about my life and I think about my college, my student loans. And you know my thing on student loans, catch me if you can. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die those fucking things out. I'm dropping dead before I pay a dime. Fuck them. So we're gonna play good songs for you know, I'm not the guy that you paid to see tonight. So but do you trust me? All right, cool, so I'm gonna warm you up. Are you getting a little warm? You getting a little toasty? You starting to feel pretty good? That's good, because there's something we need to talk about. Let's bring that, uh, let's bring this down a little bit. 
We're going to play some good songs, but first got to talk about the other part of life. And the other part of life is that Kid Rock put out a new song. And it's called Don't Tell Me How to Live. And if you came last night, you have to deal with this again. Here we go. Kid Rock, Rob Ritchie. Richie Rob from the, from the suburbs of Detroit who's telling us that we can't tell him how to live. You wait till you see this thing. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Fuck all you hoes! Detroit till I die, motherfucker! Talking all that bullshit! Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to Tell me how to live. <laughs> Wait, sing it again, man. Gonna tell me. Hey, fuck that. Get up on stage and do it right here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get up on stage. Come on, come on. This guy looks badass. I wouldn't call him up if he didn't look badass. This is a badass looking man. This man could do some damage. All right. Wait, hold on. Nobody gonna tell me how to live Ain't nobody took the out. gonna tell me how to live Nobody gonna tell me how to live Amazing. Nice I'm Kid Rock. Thank you. I won't be here next Tuesday. You, man, you're badass. What's it like being badass? Tell me. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, Fuck off. <laughs> That's badass. I fucking love this guy. I don't know this guy at all. That's Jeff, everybody. I mean, first of all, it's Stranglehold. Okay, so let's just watch a little bit more. Zipper straight, slipping in the darkness. Fly from heartless. I'm more like the sharpest tool in the shed. No, I've never been the smartest. Well, make no mistake, I hit the fucking hardest. Stepping with my cause. You heard me screaming. And 20 years later, bitch, I still Motherfucker, you ain't never met a motherfucker like this. Kiss my ass. This man is a multi-millionaire. Motherfucker, you ain't met a motherfucker. Dumps down on the mf -er. Dumps down. He's, it sounds like the Super Bowl shuffle. I don't know a lot about rap, but it's like the, my name's Pat Finnerty, I'm here to say. I've got a jean jacket on, say hell yay. You, like, that's what he's doing. It's, it's unbelievable. But, don't forget about Monster Truck. You can suck a dick sideways, my way, on the highway. Listen up, ain't nothing changed here. I still don't give a fuck. So what the fuck's up with all the backlash? You snowflakes, here's a new slash. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. I can't handle Monster Truck, man. I can't handle <laughs> Jeff, what do you think? Unbelievable. So, yeah, obviously we can't tell him how to live, right? Like, you can't, you, you can't tell Monster Truck how to live. So, like, what if we took that, like, actually, like, nobody could actually tell Monster Truck how he could live, like this guy, right? So I put together a, a little program just, just to uh, talk about it. Uh, let's, like, just think how Monster Truck came into the light. So, you know, Monster Truck comes out. No vagina. He's pissed. And the doctor's like, get that baby to ICU. It's premature. 
And the mom's like, fuck you, I ain't going to ICU. No one tells me how to live. And then uh, he doesn't go and baby dies. I'm sorry, you never want to hear about a baby going down, but I mean, it happened. <laughs> we couldn't tell him how to live. So, you know, we lost Monster Truck. Now let's say Monster Truck makes it past though. Monster Truck, you know, let's go toddler Monster Truck. Let's go Monster like little monster truck, he's playing in his he's playing in his room. There he is, and uh, and the monster truck parents are like, now monster truck, don't touch that outlet. It'll electrocute you, and you can you it'll, you can kill you. And monster truck thought about it, and then he's like, fuck you, mom, fuck you, dad. No one tells me how to live. And then uh, he puts his tongue on it, and then it, it shocks him. And. Uh, the fried monster truck. So we lost monster truck again. I mean, it's lucky that we have him. All right, let's see. He makes it past that. Maybe the monster trucks are going for a nice, a nice walk. There they are, the monster trucks. And the parents are like, now monster truck, make sure you look both ways before you cross the street. The monster truck's like, yeah, look both, look both ways at these nuts. And then he these nuts as his parents. And then he says, no one's telling me how to do it. He gets plowed by a Rav Four. Monster truck ironically taken out by a Rav 4. I mean, we're lucky that we have him, really. So that's what I've been up to. Uh, all right, so that's the way it's going to work, all right? There's good shit in life, there's bad shit in life. So we're going to do, that was our bad song, now we're going to do a good song. And uh, just to get the spirits up in the room, let's sing a Tom Petty song. How do you feel about that? Someone up top, name one. Surrender? Oh, not enough people know that one. It's a great tune, though. I got some heads in the room. Holy shit. Walls. Let's sing Walls together. Walls is, oh, man. Some days are diamonds, some days are rocks, some downs are going, and some roads are blocked, and some downs are golden, then they fade away. But if I never do nothing, your back someday why cause you got a single line in that song is the best line that's ever been written. And here's the difference between guys like Tom Petty and, and, and guys like Rob Ritchie from Detroit. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of differences. There's more differences than you could ever imagine. But, and, and like this guy, and also, I'll bring, I'll bring it to Chris Cornell. R.I.P. Chris Cornell. I'll say it. R.I.P. 
Listen, Chris Cornell was amazing. His voice was incredible, and there isn't a fucking chicken here that wouldn't bang that guy out for two straight weeks, and you know it. But here's the thing. This guy that had golden, golden voice, every, any, I'd bang him. I mean, the man, I mean, this is like, I'll quote Costanza on this one. I've got a 41 years of heterosexuality. Chris looked at me the right way, gave me a wink. Who knows? I might be taking it to Pound Town with him. Anyway. Yeah, we're lighting the candle in Seattle, RIP. I just said I might be taking it to Pound Town with the Chris Cornell. Anyway, Chris Cornell had a song called The Day I Tried to Live, right? It was a Soundgarden song. Then Audio Slam had a song called Show Me How to Live, right? The guy was trying. He was trying to figure it out. He couldn't. Why? Because life's tough. You know it, dude, up there. And it's like, he couldn't figure it out, right, dude, up there? He couldn't. And like, I'm trying to figure it out. Are you trying to figure it out, dude, up there? Yeah. You know, it's tough. The fucking punches keep coming at you, don't they? The guy right there. People are going to drop dead on you. It's tough. How do we get through? We got it's, it's, it's a lot. Anyway, he couldn't handle it, but he, was, he, he could admit that, show me how to live the day I tried to live. And then this fucking asshole comes and says, nobody tells me how to live. And that's the difference between that, right? But Tom Petty was always yearning. He was always trying to help us through the dark times and his own dark times. And that's why he's just so special to me. And I love Tom Petty. And... And Tim loves Tom Petty, I know that. And, uh, and I feel like Tim's music tries to do the same thing. It yearns, it, it's, it's always asking, what can, how can we be better? How can we come together more? Um, and the reason why I'm saying all this like, nice shit right now is that uh, we gotta talk about the band Train for a second. No, I just really hate Train. But, uh, and, and I'm gonna show you a little something. This is, a, uh, this is a Squire guitar, which is kind of like the Hyundai of Fender. No offense to you Hyundai drivers out there. Listen, I had an accent. I'm, I'm big. But uh, so I do YouTube videos. The reason why I talk about shitty songs is that I, I, do, um, I do these YouTube videos where uh, I talk about bad songs. And, and this is me, and I did a uh, whole entire 49... This song stink. That's my jingle. And, uh, and there's, there's my cousin Mike. He's over there right now. And I did this whole thing where I ended up uh, throwing a protest against the song Hey Soul Sister. Seriously, this is the protest in Fairmont Park last summer. Is that enough? Seriously, so, we still don't know. Your lack of a musical conscience is alongside the promise of a free was a target. All you're trying to do is pick up some life cereal. Why is it called life? It's unbelievable. It's a green. There's so many good songs that should be played in these places. So many good songs, and we don't hear them. We hear Hey Soul Sister. And I've had enough. Have you had enough? Yeah! We've had enough. Say, have you had enough? So I, I threw a protest against a song. Kind of worked, but, and, and uh, Bruce Warren, is, uh, who knows Bruce in this building, anybody? He was in one of my videos. He's in the Kravitz Bowl where I had a football game against uh, Fly Away Lenny Kravitz versus American Woman Lenny Kravitz. And whoever won the football game was the team that stunk more. So, uh, and Bruce was in it, and, uh, and it's incredible. Now the reason why I'm telling you about this 
is because I had um, Dr. Dog, Philadelphia's own, the great Dr. Dog, there in this video, and I was making a point that Here Comes the Hot Stepper by Ani Kamozi is a much better song than Hey Soul Sister and deserves to be played, right? So what I want to do, this is different from last night, is that tonight, just for a little bit, we're going to have a hot stepper dance party. You ready for it? Turn it up. Listen, this might be the only time tonight you hear drums. So I want you guys to get down. I'm going to get down with you. I'm very serious about this. Here we go. Here comes the hot stepper. I'm the lyrical Let's get hands in the air. No, no, we don't die. Yes, we multiply. Anyone press will hear the fight. It's a hot stepper dance party. Start acting like it. How good is Hot Stepper? Can we all agree? Thank you. I, I'll sell. Uh, I'll, I'll black that out now. It's all right. Hey, it's Friday night, isn't it? We get a little loose. Um. So this is how far it went. Somebody sent me a picture of this. This is a. This is a, this. Guitar is signed by the band Train. And uh, it was originally on Reverb for 4000 and we got it for 700 I did a GoFundMe. So this is the Hey Soul Squire. Easily the worst guitar I've ever played. And uh, I figure let's write a Train song right now. Okay, so we're gonna write, like we're just gonna use what they do. And someone give me a word, just say a word. What do you got? Shitball? Shitball. There's always an A. -A oh, 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 That's your part, ready? Saturday night, feeling all right. She's a ship ball. Oh, my baby, she want it all. Oh, every night, she on the ball. She takes it one and she we want to fall. Just like a rainfall. We say, oh, 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 my baby's a ship ball, yeah. with that right now. Shit ball. All right, we got to get back to good music now. Someone name a Beatles song. Let's sing a Beatles song. Two of us. Mike, get up here. Come on. Go over. Try this one, Mike. I'm going I'm to we'll look up the lyrics. Two of us is one of the lyrics. Yeah. So this is my cousin Mike, everybody. Check him out. You have a pick on you? Rotten. No, no, you don't want I'll take either. Those are fucking many lists. Oh, that's good. Terrible. Okay. The strawberry to burn. Fucking love I fucking love the hot mm -hmm. stepper. Has everybody seen Get Back? Yeah. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? Do we have to do the, the clenched teeth version? Yeah, yeah. All right, Mike, you're going to be on scroll, so you go down, okay? 
scroll. Don't blow it, kid. Does this go to sleep at all? You want high or low? You, you call it. You, you go low. Two of us riding nowhere, spending someone's hard earned pay. You and me, Sunday driving. I've ever seen on the internet. Someone, we, got we did. They hosed us big time. That that's funny. Whoever did this is real funny. They're like, I'm just gonna type these wrong, and then there's gonna be a guy in a hat that's standing in Johnny Brenda's, winging an opening show, and it's gonna fucking pay off. This guy could be in Tallahassee right now. Who's ever been to Tallahassee? Anybody? That's pretty good numbers for Tallahassee. Three people raise their hand. You've never been there. Why? Why? How? So I'm in a touring band. You know, I've toured a lot, so I've, I've been in Houston. Who's been to Houston? That's too much. Houston. What are you doing there? There's nothing going on. Jobs? All right. How am I doing on time? Okay. How about one more? One more, maybe? There's a song I want to do. Uh, brought up Dr. Dog before. I'm going to play a Dr. Dog song. I think I know the words. I ain't got a thing to do with your kind. And I ain't got no time to kill on your dime. Strung up, hanging round. Right, looking like you're upside down. I ain't one to sling no mother 
Man, I get to open for Tim two nights, and then I'm opening the last Dr. Dog show on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Can't wait to tell my grandkids someday all the bands I opened for. It's gonna be great. I'm in like a good, I'm in a good music space tonight. You guys all right with that? All right, let me I'm doing a quick ham check. You gotta move fast on this one. Where's my ham? Where's the ham? Who wants a part of the stage right now? Who's my ham? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? I'm giving you an opportunity to get up here. Where's the ham? I'm always going to shows and I'm like, man, I wish I could get up there. Who wants to get up here right now? Where Jeff, you've already, come on, man, take it easy. I love you though. I fucking love you. Where's the ham? Are you the ham? Get up here, ham. Little reluctant to be a ham. 
All right, Ham, what's your name? <clears throat> Tyler. What do you want to do, Tyler? It's your call. It's your no, show, it's, man. You got to name a song, good or bad. What do you got? You're putting, you're putting me on the spot. You got here. a Goshen in you? Can you do what? Goshen? I can do Goshen, yeah. All right. You want it? Just... I was riding in the basement Yeah! Playing Casios with my friends Then I found my dad's old tape machine That's when the magic began And me everything's still so far out of Everybody, I was lonely, but I was having fun. I was lonely, but I was having fun. I don't want to stop. Now, Tyler, guy brought the fucking heat. It's incredible. Look at him, he's sweating it down. He's like, oh man, he's like Elvis coming off the stage. Whew. Remember in Beetlejuice when he's like, that's why I won't do two shows, man. I won't do it. Won't do two shows. Round of applause for Beetlejuice. That's why I won't do it, man. I won't do two shows. We shop at the same stores. All right, so Tim's going to play that song again later. And that was good energy. I want it quadrupled for the Goshen that you get later, okay? Qua-fucking-drupled. I'm going to be, I'm going to start a mosh pit during it. I am. I'm going to start kicking shit. Am I done yet? All right. Okay, how about one more? All right, one more. talk about don't look around hear my word no baby just a little hey last night we did something real funny give me a second here hold on hold on hold on take it easy so the internet's awesome right so vocals you gotta check this out it's awesome I was jamming with this last night yeah, it's just the shine vocals. <laughs> give me a word, give me a sign. Show me where to look, tell me what will I find? What will I find? Let <laughs> All right, 
one more song. Ready? Here we go. Come on, Mike. Is this the best song ever written? It could be. Been beat up and battered around. Been shot up and I've been shot down. But you're the best thing that I've ever found. Handle me with care. Reputation's changeable. Situation's tolerable. But baby, you're adorable. Handle me with care. Everybody. Everybody got somebody to lean on. Put your body next to mine and dream on. I've been fucked off and I've been a fool. I've been robbed and ridiculed at daycare centers and night schools. Handle me. I'm playing a sick ass solo right now. No, that was you, Mike. Sent to meetings, hypnotized, stuck in airports, terrorized, overexposed, commercialized. Handle me with care. Come on, Roy. I'm so tired of being lonely. I still have some love to give Won't you show me that you really care Everybody, everybody Got somebody to lean on Put your body next to mine And dream on I've been uptight now My name's Pat Finnerty. That's Mike Quinn. And I'm looking forward to hearing Tim as much as you guys. So I want to thank Tim for having me. And uh, if you need to hear more about bad songs, just check me out on YouTube. It's all there for you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>